Hello, how are you doing? Welcome back to some more Cricket Captain 2023 and another part of the road to world number one with England. Today we begin the series against India. Uh, we're going to obviously play through the rest of the year. We're going to see who wins the World Cup, that sort of thing. But... Um, yeah, obviously, very successful Ashes series. Uh, we beat them 3-1. Played very, very well uh, overall. And, yeah, looking forward to hopefully doing some more of that uh, today. Uh, some good playing. And uh, fingers crossed we, we can do it. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Uh, thank you very much for the support on the series so far. Um, of course, Jimmy Anderson has uh, passed 700 test wickets, I believe, uh, in that series. 715, making him now the best of all time, really. Um, you know, obviously... Well, I want all players... I, I don't... How do, you, how do you filter it to everybody in the world ever? Ah, retired, there you go. Um, so, yeah, he's now the second most... Wickets ever he could take over Murally. Um, we've got I think 14 tests in 2024, and that'll probably be Jimmy's last year. So it'd be awesome if if he could do that. Uh, Murally on 800. Can Anderson get to 800? He's beaten Shane Warne 708. Stu Broad, um, almost uh, the fourth best bowler of all time, taking over. Uh, Cumbly there, so yeah, really excited to see where we end up with all of that. In terms of uh, runs, of course, Sachin Tendulkar still leading the way, Joe Root uh, into the top 10 now, um, and he'll only be gaining really, you would think, over the next year or so. If he can score another 1,000 runs, he could be up towards Alistair Cook territory, which would be absolutely ridiculous for him. Um, if we do just look at his batting, I think we can see uh, how many centuries he's had. So there you go, test centuries, uh, Joe Root, uh, just one behind Alistair Cook now, which is pretty awesome. In terms of 50s, uh, he's actually ahead of Alistair Cook by one. But uh, Sachin Tendulkar going to be very, very tough to catch. OK, then, let's uh, continue on and see what on earth happens in the world of cricket. I assume we'll get to see uh, the the World Cup and how how England get on. Uh, Asia Trophy there. You know, one day international Ireland actually won some of those internationals there, didn't they? We seem to have an ODI championship as well, and yeah, only sixth in that. That's pretty poor, isn't it? Um, yeah, disappointing. Okay. Let's continue on then. Obviously, end of the season in England, 30th of September. So we'll get to see how things play out. And there is the World Cup, and you can see England winning some matches there. Basically need to wait until the, the semi-finals and See how we get on there. Semi-final. Oh, we lost in the final to Pakistan by seven wickets. That's devastating. Absolutely devastating. We lose our World Cup reign. What a shame. It looks like that's pretty much it for England stuff now until the India five-match test series. So here we go, we get to, to pick our England squad. Let's go and have a little look at the um, at the World Cup in India. And there you go, there's that final. Ben Duckett, only one. Yeah, not good enough really. 204 all out. That's not, uh, not a, a true England performance really, is it? And Jofra Archer back in the side. Moan Ali seemed to play as well. Um, but there you go. England lose the World Cup. We're no longer World Cup holders. What a shame. Right, England squad time then. And uh, it's, you know, always a big one. The, the subcontinent, you know, you need to have your absolute best spinners in there. Jack Leach is going to be in there. Rayan Ahmed 
is going to be in there as well. I think we want to keep it completely the same, the, the, the Ashes squad. Um, Johnny Bairstow can come along for the ride as well. Um, Dan Lawrence, of course, a, a great player. Um, in terms of test matches, we probably want uh, Tung in there. Um, yeah, it's going to have to be first class. And maybe if we look at, at the current year, there's Tung on there. Uh, don't actually see it. Ah, there he is. There he is, Josh Tung. Um, didn't have the best of years, but of course, playing in the Ashes match today. I'm going to bring him along as well as uh, Jof Jofra Archer, but he is he's out for another three weeks. I don't think he's really going to get to play too much, if I'm honest with you. Um, Probably needed another batsman in there. Um, let's have a look who who had the most runs. Keaton Jennings up there. Anybody decent? Doesn't really look that way, does it? Okay, let's have a look at wicket takers then. Again, Ollie Robinson probably get him back in the squad. And uh, we've got Joe Leach. No, I don't think so. Um, yeah, Matt Potts. Let's go for that. Lots of bowlers in the squad, but uh, I think we do need that just as a bit of variety for us. Um, Zach Crawley's going to have a bit of extra Bratton practice, as is Joe Root. Ben Duckett can. Ollie Pope can as well. Um, ben Stokes is, yep, again, going to go for that. Stuart Broad, a bit of extra brawl, bowling practice. So, two for James Anderson. And, of course, Jack Leach, who is definitely going to be playing. Uh, in terms of physio, Harry Brook could do with some physio there. Uh, everybody else looks pretty fit, to be fair. Uh, let's give some to Chris Walks and then fielding sessions. Uh, ben Stoke, uh, Ben Falk, sorry. Can have a little bit of keeping practice. And Ollie Robinson can do some ground fielding. Awesome. Right, let's move on then. To the first test match, of course, India are very much going to be favourites for this. Uh, let's have a little look at the conditions. It's going to be a batsman's paradise, essentially. Um, I'm going to have to be very tactful about who we select out there. Um, I think Broad and Anderson are, are a, a shoe in. I think Ollie Robinson's going to come out of it. Um, and we're going to have uh, Ahmed in there instead. Have the two spinners. Got Ben St well, that's yeah, that's the problem, isn't it? We really need three seamers in there. I'm thinking Chris Walks gives us a little bit more bat and depth. Folks is gonna play at seven, Brook at five. That all looks good to me. Yeah, I, th I think that's the team. Leech is our main line spinner. We've got Root there as well. Braun and Anderson, of course, as our fast attack. Right, here we go then. Tails never fails. And uh, we are going to be batting first down in the subcontinent. And, well, Bazball, we are going to need you right here, right now. So let's see how we get on. Bumrah into Ducket. And uh, straight away we are Formal attacking. We are move. being aggressive with our play. And that's... Uh, Pretty awesome. So, can Ben Duckett go and score a big Tony? He had a wonderful summer against Australia. Big part of why we won the Ashes, and I'm hoping that we'll, we'll get to see that form again. And there we go, Zach Crawley now getting in on the action. Oh, but Duckett's gone. He's edged. He's out for 20. And that's a huge moment. In this first test match. And, well, Zach Crawley needs to find himself. That's going to go all the way, is it? No, oh. just the four. I say just the four. Going to try and attack now. He's crashed that through the covers. And if we can, you know, score 400 in this opening innings, that will give us a big platform Beautiful shot. Four. in this match. And not many people go down to India and 
play this way, but I absolutely feel like that's the only way we're going to win. We're not going to win by playing that's defensively. Drive on the off. You know, especially with the uh, spin options. You know, we've got Judasia in there as well. You have slow left arm. He's really cracked but that one. if that's we can the... attack the spin bowlers, then that's exactly uh, what we're looking for. I mean, maybe. Do, do. I mean, they've got Kar Karatkaya in there. Um, maybe they don't have Jadeja in the squad. Karatkaya. Yeah, and well, Crawley that's... scores another four. Absolutely brilliant from him. And that 100 is going to be coming and up very, like very soon. And there's another four. Don't bother running. And very close to his 50. And there it is. Swept away That's for four. Really Beautiful good. shot. And Zach Crawley gets to 50. Straight through the gap. He's having a lovely time of things. 100 up for England as well. That's a blistering shot. Helps the boundary before. And if we can, as I say, go and build some big, strong partnerships here, then we're going to give ourselves every chance. We've got more potency with our ball than India do, you would suggest. You know, we've got Jack Leach and Joe Root as spin options. We really can no do something special, in my opinion. Yarav in the Pope. That's a terrific sweep for four. Really hammered, that one. And looks like we get to 138 for one by lunch. And uh, Crawley there, unbeaten on 69. Ollie Pope on 48. Very, very good. And that's going to be runs. And now straight after lunch, this is going to be the hottest part of the day. Just need to keep going. And there it is, 50 for Ollie Pope. Good start of the summer for him. Or the, the, the winter, I should say, for him. Indian summer. What a fine shot. There's some big runs on the table for these two. If they want to go and get them. It's not a lot there for the bowlers at all. This has to be close. Well, the umpire says not out. A good decision, I think, from here. I think that was, yeah, well outside the leg. And, yeah, I think it was a bit insulting for them to even appeal that. Oh, that could be out though. And it is. Yep. Ollie Pope is gone. He's out for 69. And Joe Root comes to the crease knowing he scored big the last time he was here. And he knows he can again. That's out. Oh, but Root's gone. He's out for eight. That's a huge moment in this match. And Karakaya into the Crawley. Is that going to be out? Wow, this must have been close. How much was this turning? Mm, I don't think that was a great decision. It says it struck outside the line. He's got another possibility here. Oh, but that's hit away for four. Too much on his pads. Excellent. Oh, well, one over. Yeah, Harry Brook. Textbook drive off the back Nice foot. four, and that gets us to 200 now. Halfway to a great score, I would suggest. And there is An the sentry for Zach Crawley. That's Brilliant performance from him. He's had a, a great time of things. Beautifully timed. Mm, only the one dodgy moment where he could have been out LBW. We know absolutely that we can Back attack in India, and if if we that's attack the the spin, forward. I think that's where we're gonna find success. So Harry Brook is gonna go for it as well. I'm gonna give uh, Zach Crawley just a little bit more license. He's been beaten by that to play here. Yes, India's That's spin like starting to bamboozle the, the batsmen. That's why I think we've got to try and take spin out of the equation and just absolutely smack it to the boundary at every given opportunity. 
Yeah, lovely. Yeah, I've been to Brook here. Oh, that's a lovely shot. That's four. Four runs, pure class. So 240 for three. That's not even T yet. Oh, that was so close to finding the edge. It could well be hitting 300 by T here. It's timed that perfectly. Four runs all the way. We can keep attacking. He's middled that. Yeah, another four for Zach Crawley. Absolutely brilliant from him. Shots! Brilliant shot. Six That's runs! Six all the way. 250 up. 250 up for us. 126 up for Crawley. Ho -ho. Lovely straight drive there. And there you go. T interval. Day one. 266 for three. And definitely just bring it down a notch after T. Get them settled again. Well, he's really picked that and one out. And absolutely go for it. Absolutely through him. Oh, that's high in the air from Brook. And it's caught. Brook gone for 36. And now the captain comes to the crease after a, a struggle summer with the bat. And, hit. well, not a good start here. He's out for four. And now Fawkes comes to the crease, smashes his first ball for four. Well, he just and there's belt. another six for Zach Crawley. We're going to tell him to keep the strike. This looks close. That's it's slipping down out, legs, leg strong. side. The bowler must be wondering about switching ends. So, yeah, let's up the aggression again. It's huge. Really that one. Absolutely that brilliant. And that's his third six of the innings. Timed that well. And there is the 300 up for England. But that could be out. And it is. Crawley's gone for 155. Terrific innings from him, though. And now it's really time to, to go basball. If we can get another 100 runs from this. That would be awesome. And I no think we absolutely can. Right. There's That's six for six. Ben, uh, Chris Walks. Cracking shot. And there's another four. Four runs. Thank you very much. Mm. Putting India under pressure, and that's What's what we're looking to do. Game? But Fawkes has gone. He looked like he was struggling, to be fair. He's gone for 13. Jack Leach now is next. The There's another the beautiful four. What a shot. The bat turned in his hand. Yeah, edge from Jack Leach. That's oh, out. and Walks is gone. Stuart Broad now comes to the crease, and yeah, you would say throwing away wickets, but. Appealing. It's about trying to get as no, many runs on the scoreboard the as we can. And yeah, that was a great decision. Just missing leg stump. Well, Jack Leach will be licking his lips. He knows it's a big opportunity for him. Well, Stu Broad, he's definitely somebody that can get us 10, 20 okay. extra runs here. James Anderson comes to the crease now. He's going to be smacking the ball about as well. He's miscued that. Well, edge from Broad, but nobody there to get it. Anderson's got to face six balls here. He and he's gone that. first ball. He's out for a duck, and it's 340 all out. I think a little under par. I think we could have done better. Uh, Zach Crawley's brilliant 155, though was definitely the highlight, um, definitely improving his average as it's going. Ollie Pope did well as well with 69, but everybody else, to be fair, you know, a couple got in, got out, dug it and broke. Not many other people uh, pulling their weight, but that gives us uh, 43 minutes with Anderson and Broad to try and get a couple of wickets from the Indians here before the end of the day. And that would be pretty awesome. Right, three overs left. We're going to bring Jack Leach in. I'm going to bring Joe Root in as well. And see if we can get a, a wicket. But we can't. End of day one then. 23 without loss for India. In response to our 340 
all out. Well, it's going to be a tough day out in the field, you would imagine. Chris walks into Gale. Played all around there. Not quite. The bowler can't believe it, but the umpire's unmoved. You feel like we need to get a wicket here fairly soon. It's a no ball. I think that would have been out. Let's have a look at this. Oh, it was missing leg anyway, so. Batsman would have got away with it. Jack Leach now into Gill. That's a good ball. It's a very good ball. Leach gets the breakthrough. Gill's gone for 68. And now India one down. Joe Root's going to come in from the other end. We're going to have a little bit of spin. Just going to keep an eye on. What's happening with the runs? But day two, lunch interval day two, 145 for one. We'll start with a bit of spin after lunch. And here comes Leach into Ishwaran. And guy. he's gone. He's out for 69. Excellent delivery from Jack Leach. And as I say, it's going to be hard work, but... Joe Root gets the breakthrough. Uh, Rishabh Pant is gone. That's a huge wicket. And here he comes into Pajara now. That could be out as well. It is. Joe Root on a hat trick. <laughs> I was just about to take him off. Leech in. Ah, yeah. Great ball, but the batsman survives. That was very close. Joe Root doesn't manage to get the hat trick, but. I'm going to keep going with these two just for a little bit more. And that's going to be out. Khan's out. He's out for eight. And India now five down. Leech into Ghani. He hasn't got hold of that. Are they going to come back for two? No. Right. Anderson back in then. And Ben Stokes is going to come in for a, a bit of a ball. Anderson in. Ah, yeah. He's miscued that one. Fedge for four. T interval day two then, and well, two hundred and sixty-two for five, seventy-eight runs behind, and a well, new ball available. Gonna chuck it to Ben Stokes. Oh, and that could be that. a breakthrough. No, nope. well, the bowler's muttering under his breath, but wow, he better that's keep that to down the leg side, I think. Oh. Oh, we'll keep going. Broad's going to come in now with Chris Walks. A little bit of new ball action. But uh, back to Leachy. Leach into Ayer. And that's going to be gone. Ayer's out now for 137. And Joe Root's going to ball from the other end. The spinners definitely well, looking good. So, oof, reverse sweep nearly costing India there. Joe Root into Garni. That's a thick edge. Oh, nearly. Lichi into Unad Cat now. That's, oh, it's dropped. And there you go, India. 374 for six. Going to continue with spinners from both ends at the start of day three. And lichi has got Garni. He's out for 60. And that's Leach's five foot. Anderson's going to come in from the other end. Anderson into an ad cut. Oh. He's gone. Anderson makes the breakthrough for the fast ballers. And now that's into Carter Care. He's edged it. Ooh, edged. Anderson into Carter Care again. Same. He's gone. He's out for 16. One more wicket to get. Leach into Yadav. And that's gone. Great catch. And India are all out for 451. Some standout innings there, you know, lots of 60s. That's the difference between their innings and ours. But uh, six for 118 for Jack Leach, two for Jimmy Anderson and two for Joe Root as well. Disappointing from the likes of Broad, Walks and Stokes, although they didn't get much of a chance compared to the other bowlers. 
Right into the third innings then. It's very important now that uh, we go out there and He's edged it. and score 300 plus. If we can make them chase anything above 250, you would say we've got a chance. But to do that, we've got to score 350. That's a fine drive. Well, what a start from Ben, ben Duckett. This could be out. Big oh. inside edge for four. Obviously Crawley, oh, big hundred in the first innings. He's edged He'll it. fancy his chances, but that's his third edge for four. Lunch interval day three then, 44 without loss. I think we need to be sensible until we're into the lead, and once we're into the lead, then the basketball can begin. Well, being aggressive anyway, three fours in a row from Ben Duckett in that over. He's playing terrifically well. And Zach Crawley starting to hit the, the middle of the ball uh, bat as well. But Doug gets out for 37 and that's what can happen. It takes one delivery to get you out. And that's all it took for Ben Duckett. All that hard work to get a start once again. Carter Kea. Oh, what a shot from Crawley. No that's six. That. That's six. First six of the innings. I feel like there's going to be plenty of them. Yeah, I've been to Pope. That looks like it's going to the boundary. And that's four as well. And there we go. A lovely four. four. All the way. And now the scores are tied. That's going to be 50 for Zach Crawley. Another good start. Needs to go and, and capitalise. And, well, I think now that these two are settled and we've got a bit of a lead, we need to go and attack. We need to take advantage of the nice hot weather. Beautifully and there's a beautiful reverse sweep from Nick, uh, Nick Pope. Ollie Pope. And there we go, four beautiful runs for Zach Crawley. And again, and in well into the 50s now. But Ollie Pope will be getting awards 50 as well. So he made 69, I think it was, in the first innings. And there is his 50. Definitely needs to go and... What Turn a into a big one, one and well, Crawley dropped. That's huge. Now need to really take advantage of that. Poor fielding from India. He's edged it. Yeah, another little edge there for Ollie Pope. Definitely a more defensive field. Fine shot. And there's another beautiful reverse sweep for four. These two chipping away nicely. Oh, but oh, Crawley's I've... gone. What a terrific ball. He's out for 65. Joe Root comes to the crease now. And he knows that Beautiful ball. he needs to absolutely give it his all. Textbook front foot. He needs to play a captain's knock. I know he's not the captain anymore, but his experience is huge. And Pope has gone. He's out for 60. Harry Brook comes to the crease and the lead is only 59. We're essentially 59 for three here. As I said, we need to get to about 350, so we're about 180 runs short at the moment. And that was but I feel like fourth innings, can India chase nearly 300 on a turn and pitch? You wouldn't put it past them, but... Bold. Oh, absolutely. Well, Brook's gone for eight and... Yeah, this is uh, intense now. Beautiful oh, time. and Stokes has gone first ball. Hat-trick ball for an ad cat. Well. That's gone right. And Root's gone for 17. 79 for six. He just oh, got his... and this is a classic England collapse, isn't it? We were looking good at 170 for three. And now Folks and Walks. And that's a fine... Walks has gone. So, 
We're gonna rein it in well now, then. Leech is out. And just hope that Ben Folks can muster well, something, yeah. but he might not get a chance. He might not get a chance to do it. Oh. Very late on that. Well, 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 we were completely blown away there. Bumra and Onadka absolutely rippled through us. And we went from 167, well, 161 for one to 201 all out. So we lost our last nine wickets for 40 runs. That's old England for you. And, well, 91 to win for India. Not a lot of chance of us winning this match, it's fair to say. But if Anderson can get us off to a good start, you never know. But a top edge for six, that's not going to help. That's high in the air, and it's caught. Uh, he's where I'm gone for 12. Brought in Aya now. He's gone as well. He's out for a duck. What on earth is going on? This pitch is doing wonders. Edge. Big edge for four. Anderson and Broad getting us off to an okay start here. But India now attacking. Going to bring Leach in and uh, Joe Root. But yeah, it's not going to happen. Joe Root is probably going to bowl the last ball of the innings. Oh, he's caught! Hey, <laughs> Gill's out for 32. But Rishabh Pant has uh, absolutely won the match for India here. And there you go, Pujara hits the four. And India win by seven wickets. As I say, I think had we tried, had we got to them to chase uh, 250, I think we'd have done that, you know. Um, but that's the, that's the way it goes. And uh, we lose the first test match. I think possibly a little bit too aggressive in the first innings. Maybe need to rein that in a little bit. Um, but second innings, I mean, that collapse was pathetic. You know, you look at that and... It's just... Ridiculous, really, where those wickets fell. Um, and there you go. That that was that. I mean, you look at look at the last few overs. Wicket, 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 wicket. You know, we scored very, very few runs in that period, and that's where the match was lost. Ultimately, if we had another hundred runs, something to chase for India, potentially we could have done it. But uh, there we go. There we go. Still a five-match series, though. We can still come back from it, and that's what we've got to hope to do in the next episode. So if you've enjoyed that, leave a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for plenty more uh, Crit Captain videos, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.